I heard everyone was steaming ahead with the last day of Rocky Railway. Glad you're here. I'm Lawrence Elk. Not a moose, not a ram, but an excellent elk. Male elks are called bulls, and me and my bull buddies like to hang out way up in the Rocky Mountains. In the winter, we move down where we can find grass. But in the spring and summer, we head for the hills. It's important that we stick together with the herd. Some elk herds are as big as 400 friends. Although my antlers are big and strong, female elk or babies don't have these. And a hungry bear is hard to fight off. Speaking of these amazing antlers, they are pretty incredible if I do say so myself. Sometimes they come in handy when other herds get too close to mine. Or I need to show another bull that I'm in charge. Yeah, sometimes we butt heads, even in our happy herd. But I try not to get too attached. Literally, they fall off every year and I grow a new set. How cool is that? God also gave me a unique power to help me communicate with the herd. <clears throat> Um. That's called bugling. It's a little like roaring and whistling at the same time. It keeps my herd close together where we can be safe. Our herd even has scouts. A few elk who stand watch while others graze. We have to look out for each other. Do you have friends who look out for you? Friends you like to call out to when you're sad or silly, happy or hurting? Or do you sometimes butt heads with your buddies? Maybe you need the power to forgive and love a friend when you're not getting along. You don't have to do that all by yourself. Jesus gives you his power to help be a good friend. Jesus gave this powerful command in the Bible. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. If you're butting heads with your buddies and not getting along, you can trust Jesus' power and follow his words. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus!
You just, you stay there. I'll be right back. Nope, don't worry, I've got it. Just stay there. Stay. Ah! Wow, Cam, what's going on? Y you look pretty steamed up. <laughs> it's almost like you're going off the rails. <laughs> you're not helping. It's a train engineer thing. You just wouldn't understand. Oh, yeah? Try me. I bet I can track right with you. <laughs> really, you have to stop with the train joke. Wait, one more. I'm listening. In fact, I'm all engineers. <laughs> uh, oh, OK. I, really, I, I'm listening. Fine, so two people usually run a steam locomotive, the engineer and the fireman. Oh, a fireman? Like a guy with a big red truck and a Dalmatian? No, not that kind of fireman. A fireman on a train is the person who shovels coal into the furnace to heat the water in the boiler and make the train go. Oh, I'm tracking so far. So there's a new fireman on my crew, and he's driving me crazy. He never, ever stops talking. <sighs> hey, Cam, what's your favorite color? Mine's purple. Oh, hey, Cam, how old are you? Wow, that's so old. I bet you were there when the trains were invented. Hey, you want to hear a train joke? Want to hear a train joke? What do you call a train that's carrying a load of bubble gum? A choo-choo train. Ha, ha, ha. Isn't that so funny, yeah. Cam? Oh, why aren't you laughing? You don't like me. Don't worry, I'll make you like me. Here's another joke. How did the train get so good at its job? Because of its training. Ha, 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 ha. And he just can't go. Wait just a minute. You don't sound like you're being very nice friend to this new guy. In fact, you're being sort of mean by making fun of him. You, j you just don't understand what it's like to be constantly interrupted while you're trying to work. Oh, I, I think I have a plenty good idea of what that's like. Cam, loving others is such an important part of life. Even when it's hard to be a good friend, you can ask Jesus for his help. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. But what if someone just won't stop talking? Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus. You can pray about it. Ask Jesus for his strength and patience and for the eyes to see your new crew member the way Jesus sees him. I mean, maybe this guy needs a listening ear. Maybe he's lonely. Sometimes the people who annoy us the most are the ones who need our friendship the most. Well, 
We have a long haul ahead of us on our next journey. So I guess I'll get plenty of practice being a good friend. I'm going to need Jesus' power. Will you pray for me? Just, just like you talked about? Oh, of course. We're going to wrap up here. Then I'll pray with you before you leave on your trip. Who knows? Maybe Jesus put this new guy on your crew so you can show Jesus love in exactly the way he needs, like no one else. Me? A job only I can do? That's cool. I'm going to finish getting our supplies together while you finish up. Then let's pray. Right, okay. Welcome back to the Rocky Railway and LCM station. I am so glad you are here for our last day of Bible adventures. Billy and I are excited to sing our welcome song again with you today. Can we sing our welcome song? Howdy friend, I'm glad you came to ride with me. Woot, woot. Howdy friend, I'm glad you came to ride with me. Woot, woot. Jesus' power is so strong, he can help us all along. Howdy, friend, I'm glad you came to ride with me all aboard. You've gotten so good at singing our welcome song. Oh, Billy would like to sing it one more time. All right. Howdy, friend, I'm glad you came to ride with me. Woot, woot. Howdy, friend, I'm glad you came to ride with me. Woot, woot! Jesus' power is so strong, he can help us all along. Howdy, friend, I'm glad you came to ride with me all aboard. A train engine, like we have here in my train set, is strong. But a real train engine is even stronger, and it can pull lots and lots of train cars full of kids and people and lots of things. That reminds me of the way Jesus is strong enough to help us do so many incredible things. All this week, we have been learning about Jesus' awesome power. Jesus even had the power to come back to life after he died. Jesus' power will let us live forever in heaven with him if we believe. That's such great news! When Jesus' friends told people the great news, Many more people became followers of Jesus and became his friends. Hmm, it might have looked a little bit like this. I told my friend Billy about Jesus. And then my friend Billy told a friend about Jesus. Billy, are you telling a friend about Jesus? Oh, oh my goodness, we're telling friends about Jesus. So Billy told a friend or two and then they told a friend or two about Jesus. And then those friends told another friend or two about Jesus. And if we keep telling friends about Jesus, how many friends are we going to have, not just that know about Jesus, but in heaven? Oh my goodness! We have so many friends that we've told about Jesus, don't we, Billy? Yay! Oh my goodness, that's a lot of friends. We'll keep telling more and more of our friends about Jesus, just like we started to this week. This week, we've also talked about our friends in Wanbley, South Dakota. Howdy, kids. It's Conductor Chris again, and this is the last day for the Rocky Railway to be here. I am so excited and pumped because I know we have all these great VBS songs stuck in our head that praise Jesus and that can tell others that we trust Jesus. We've talked a lot about our friends in Wombly this week, and I hope you are encouraged to be able to meet them one day. They've become like family to me, and they don't know me as Conductor Chris, but they do know me as Big Trampoline. And it is so rewarding to see my friends whenever I can. And I hope we're able to see you soon too. Besides the peanut butter, the jelly, the hot chocolate, and oatmeal we're collecting this week, I just have one more favor to ask. You see, since I'm friends with those in Wombly, and you're friends with me, that makes you friends with those in Wombly. 
And believe it or not, we are all brothers and sisters under the name of Jesus. You know what I love about being friends with others? Is that I get to communicate with them through phone calls and through letters. Who loves getting notes or cards in the mail? You all do? That's awesome. Would you like to make a letter or write a card to one of our friends? You can tell them how Jesus' power can help them do hard things. Trust Jesus. How Jesus' power can give them hope. Trust Jesus. How Jesus' power can help them be bold. Trust Jesus. How Jesus' power lets them live forever. You're right, trust Jesus. And how Jesus' power can help them be good friends. Trust Jesus. Most importantly, in these letters and in these notes and in these cards, you can let them know that Jesus loves them. And because they are your friends now, you love them too. Please drop these off at either campus or have Tracy or Conductor Chris or anybody else from the church pick them up from you. And then we will pass them on to our friends in Wombly. Well, friends, as our time on the Rocky Railway comes to an end, I cannot wait to see you tomorrow night at our celebration. But I have to get the old Rocky Railway ready for its next destination. See you guys soon. Even though we can't be there with them, we can send them hugs and we can tell them of the love of Jesus, and we can be their friends by donating food for them. Jesus helps us to do big, surprising things, like when the man that was healed could walk. We can also show the love of Jesus by praying for our friends in Wanbley. Even though you're just a kid like Billy, God still hears your prayers. Let's pray for our friends in Wanbley. Dear Jesus, I haven't met the kids in Wombly, but I know you know them. I know I can trust in you to help them. And I know what I do here to help them will show my love for you and for them. Amen. Our Bible verse today tells us that when we remember how much Jesus loves us, it helps us to love each other. Today's Bible verse is from John chapter 15 verse 12 my command is this love one another as i love you jesus wants us to love other people as much as we love him so we're going to show our friends in wandley our love by collecting food and praying for them every day we are also going to show our love by making some cards or coloring some pictures to send to our friends in Wombly with the food we're collecting. I know you are all great artists and can color a picture or make a card and add stickers. Whatever it is that you want to do, it will be awesome. Billy and I are so excited to collect food and make cards and to help them for our new friends, aren't we, Billy? Billy, 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 what's wrong? Mm! Billy, did you eat the peanut butter? Mm -hmm. Is it stuck to the roof of your mouth? Mm -hmm. Oh, Billy. Let's sing our song, our welcome song, one last time this week. Howdy, friend, I'm glad you came to ride with me. Woot, woot. Howdy, friend, I'm glad you came to ride with me. Woot. Woot! Jesus' power is so strong, he can help us all along. Howdy, friend, I'm glad you came to ride with me all aboard. You've all gotten so good at our welcome song this week, and it's been so much fun to be here at the Rocky Railroad and at the LCM Depot. We'll sing our song one last time. Howdy, friend, I'm glad you came to ride with me. Woot! Woot! Howdy, friend, I'm glad you came to ride with me. Woot! Woot! Jesus' power is so strong, he can help us all along. Howdy, friend, I'm glad you came to ride with me. All aboard! Let's close in prayer one last time. Dear Jesus, thank you for this week at Bible school. 
Thank you that we could learn that Jesus helps us to do hard things. Trust Jesus! Thanks for our friend Billy. Thank you for our friends in Wanbley, Jesus, and help us to remember to always trust in you. Amen. Thanks for coming, guys. See you later. Bye! Hello, everybody. My name's Zach, the train fact guy, and here is today's train fact. Did you know that there's some trains that even float? There's a newer class of train called a maglev, and they actually use magnets to levitate on the track. And they're also some of the fastest trains in the world, the fastest going in at 370 miles an hour.